it sort of makes me think of when I first started writing, and uh, or before I first started writing, when I was a young teacher, age 19 actually, I had a class of 15 intellectually disabled children, and they said to me when I got the class, if you can find a book for every child in this class to read, you'll be doing really well. Most of them couldn't read anything. I, I guess the top reading age would have been about nine, with a child age, say, 15. And uh, it was a really, really hard task to find a book that they could read, that they wanted to read. There were a lot of remedial readers and, and such around at that time, but they were boring. And uh, many years later, when I started writing, I thought, there's no such thing as a book for reluctant readers, because it has to be a good story. You can't have one of those wussy little things where nothing much happens. If, if the good readers don't like it, the, the kids who are struggling won't like it either. So w when I'm writing a book, I do think about the audience and how easy or difficult it is to read. But also the most important thing is just how good a story is it? Because the story is everything. It's got to be really interesting. I do have the reader in mind. I do believe there's a place for the sort of writing, particularly with adults, where you say, this is something from my heart that's going to uh, make this point or be about that or but I do think about the reader I think can they read it is the joke good enough is, is the ending good enough uh, you know how old are they going are they and, and I think that's to me a very important aspect of it and what do I want I want those kids to absolutely love that book the way that I used to like the William books and the Biggles books you know reading them there and I remember uh, once at a book signing and all the kids are lined up with their parents in a bookshop and uh, a family came with about four children going from the tallest down to the smallest and I'm signing you know the way you do and uh, finally we get the little boy his nose just comes over the table he pushes his book over for me to sign and I start writing in it asking his name suddenly he yells out and he points to me he, and he screams at the top of his voice that man wrote in my book! You know, well, everybody cracked up. But I thought, isn't that wonderful? Like, he was the one he went writing in his book. That's something precious. And that's, that's what we want the kids to do. They say, oh, I love this book. That's what we're going for. We hope we achieve it. We try.